Funding wallets on Tap Tap Send. Step one: Click on Create Ghana CD Wallets below when you open the app. Step two: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step three: Click on the Confirm and Fund wallet below to confirm. Step four: Your wallet has been successfully funded. Step five: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step 6. Select or add new recipient. Step 7. Choose wallet as payment method. Step 8. Click on the pay with wallet below to confirm. Step 9. Your transaction is successful. Step into a world of exquisite fragrances at Ghana's number one perfume hub. Visit us at Rack Luxury Perfume, located in Santa Maria, Asiama Junction, or find us in New Akimota, opposite Christ Redeemed Glory Church. Just a three-minute walk from Akimota Melkam, your journey to finding the perfect scent begins here. Whether you're shopping for yourself or looking for the perfect gift, we offer an extensive collection for both wholesale and retail. Proudly, we are the exclusive sole distributor for the luxurious Gloria perfume. Follow us on social media for the latest updates and exclusive deals. Find us on Instagram at rack underscore perfumes and on Snapchat and TikTok at rack underscore perfumes. Connect with us on Facebook at Rack Luxury Perfumes and be the first to know about new arrivals. Reach out to us at plus two three three fifty nine four six one six one nine nine or WhatsApp at zero five nine eight six one two five nine two. Rack Luxury Perfumes Smell Unique Smell Classy. I sometimes feel that as members, and I'm talking about executive members who are part of any musician's team, who are part of any artist team, our command, especially when we are out there talking on behalf of our, the brands that we work with, and again, the kind of authority that we are supposed to put out should be watched. We either have to improve it or we don't become a part of it at all. We either have to improve upon it or we don't become a part of it at all. Because there are some people, they are critical to every musician's team. The manager, the DJ, maybe the chief security guard, or any other person who is the PA or something related to the artist. I can just draw that line. These people, no matter what you do, they hold executive positions. Maybe PA stylist. Because some artists are known to have some personal security guys. To them, they are also executive managers. Managers, DJs, all these were part of the core team of an artist. Therefore, like I said earlier, anytime they have that platform to speak, they should either come with that authority or better still, they stay far away from it. Why am I saying this to start this conversation? I'm saying this to start this conversation because of the recent um, kind of confusion online right now. It is still being discussed. After DJ Mason's appearance um, for an interview session on um, Asasi Radio. I know at this time, Asasi Radio is jubilating. And do you know why they'll be jubilating? Do you know that show was their maiden show? <laughs> Obi 
Ije uno no bi zo go emu aye de 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 go and check na no to jando space say yeah, numbers don't lie humans lie <laughs> if you check the caps that na o to jando rote that numbers don't lie but humans lie this is the video evidence of what is transpiring so yes i was invited to be on the show but i couldn't go because i had some other things my daughter was not feeling too well i was admitted at the hospital so last friday to saturday in fact i have not been myself it has been hot 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 hot, hot throughout but thank god she's now been discharged and she's at home um even recovering more now let's continue with the conversation dj mesa in fact he's one of the let me say shadows of sarkody every artist has some people who are more or less like their shadows that when you see them the probability that that artist also show is high dj mesa when you go to camp sack nation or camp success music dj mesa is one of such people maybe i can also mention the manager that is angel town and i can also mention the chief security um, black nana these guys they serve as sarkodes more or less like his shadow see them and the probability that sarkodes is likely to show is high so anywhere you sit to speak and i can even use the same people that i mentioned that they are shadows of sarko i can use them that to them anywhere that they sit anywhere that they do any discussion about whether music or general showbiz information whatever they say the probability or the fact that someone can link it to sex music is high when this whole thing started of um, dj mesa uh, mentioning that sarko they would have a show at the opening of olympics 2024 on the assassin show and it became a topic i was just enjoying the fun aspect of it the fact that as usual social media people agenda people will take it up and play around it in fact when you go online kwame daisy and all those people they have written stories about the announcement in fact there are stories out there my jawline on all those platforms at least i can confirm my jawline because i saw kwame daisy sharing links on other whatsapp platforms that i share with him as well so when you go out there they have all shared information that dj mason who is the official dj in fact one of the longest serving members of the success music is dj mason he's been around for long and he's still there uh, that is one thing about success music most of the people there have been really um been serving the platform for a longer time so when dj mason speaks who are you to doubt him so on the platform when diego asked him about some of the plans ahead with him and his plans and he mentioned that oh he'll be playing here and there and also added that sarkodie will be playing at the opening of um olympics 2024 nobody could doubt it nobody could doubt it because i hear the pro the, the launch is i think july 26 or so yes so nobody could doubt it you just have to believe it because indeed if sarkodie will be playing there he'll be one of the first persons who know because he'll be playing and he has to know so he starts putting in plans and preparations to travel for that particular gig so there was no way somebody was going to doubt him when that one was said fans and music consumers alike became so happy because olympics like the like the world olympics it is a big deal so for you to go and perform at the opening it is a big deal no wonder social media went awash and everybody started celebrating and jubilating for king sack because yeah there's a win and not a win for himself alone but a win for ghana as much as some Ghanaians might have qualified to be part of the athletic competition and maybe other um, soccer and other sporting activities our presence there is not too loud sometimes we go to olympics and we struggle to win the gold medals and all that so if as part of the opening there is going to be a circle there it is a big deal everybody will be happy about it and social media started showing signs of it until some few minutes i went online and i start seeing tweets shared by different people on the social media platforms i said ah 
what is happening? In fact, the first one I saw, I felt it was okay. Therefore, let's leave it as such. And this was the first one that I'm talking about. Where DJ Mesa said that. Let me clarify this before I'm misinterpreted. There might be an event in Paris around the same time the Olympics is happening. But it is not during the opening ceremony. This is to provide more clarification on what is circulating. Even this, if I want to prolong matters, if I want to be a litigant, I can take this particular tweet from DJ Mensa, play the video, the exact video where he mentioned that Sarko they were performing at the Olympics, and definitely it will be different. This will be two different pieces. The tweet that says there might be an event in Paris around the same time the Olympics is happening, that is not how DJ Mesa put it. That's what I'm saying. If I want to be a litigant, if I want to stretch this, I can argue vehemently that no, you did not say that. But once again, I can let it pass. But then, the editor will still show you the video so that you can do your own comparison. That if you read this tweet, and you watch the video, what was said, are they the same? Watch it and come back. Okay. And with me and Sack, we have some few shows. I think um, we haven't announced it yet, but we are, we are playing at the Olympics opening mm. somewhere in, oh, wow. yeah, in August. And then there's uh, an event that we have to... You, you heard know, it here first, yeah, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> also in, um, in, uh, in the U.S. And I think... Uh, I have another show, Ghana Fest. It's just like um, Party in the Park in Canada. Okay. I also support them. So this is what I have so far lined up. And you already know, the December events, mm -hmm. we're already right. planning it. Just after Party in the Park, you're going to hear a lot about it. Right. Now, let's continue. So you watched the video. You saw it. And now that, indeed, that particular video has been put out clear, something depicting... An entirely different thing from the tweet it becomes problematic but then I still understand communication comes with its own issues I'm a communicator myself there are so many things that when you say it you come back and you would wish that you had said it differently so many times it happens to all of us and you somebody else will say, ah, but where did my wisdom go at the time that I was speaking why did it not come? But it is normal. So maybe he did not want to communicate like he did on the radio. You know, when you are on an interview platform and you are not really in charge of what you are saying, some of these errors are likely to happen. You need to be in charge. You need to be in control, full control of the environment, of the interview, of the conversation. Else, you always flop. When some few months ago I decided to embark on a radio tour for Shut Up Movement Empire, some of these things came up. Some questions that definitely will be hard for you to handle. Some questions that definitely be asking yourself, okay, should I say it or not say it? Will the couple himself say it in giving the chance? Oftentimes, when I'm, I'm on such platforms or anywhere I'm interviewed about Shut Up Movement, that is how I answer the question, even in me first. I first say, would a couple answer this question if he's asked himself or he would keep it? If I'm able to convince myself with which of the answers, then I would also go ahead to put it out. So, when that particular came up, oh, what are the plans you have? Uh, DJ Mr. could have general, oh, Charlie, we have some gigs coming up. We'll be traveling here and there, and that will be all. But he felt like, okay, let me share some details. Now, right after, he comes, oh, guys, before I'm being mis misinterpreted, well... I'm not sure someone is deliberately misinterpreting what DJ Mesa said. It is what it is. Now, after the tweet that says before he's being misinterpreted, there are other series of tweets that I would want to read. Then I'll say just one thing, then I run away from here. And that, is, that thing is actually my focus for this particular editorial. That is why I decided to be a part of it. I didn't want to. But after seeing that particular thing, then I said no. Now, I want to be a part of this. First, DJ Meza says, 
It would be nice to see the same energy from people spreading this story being given to the reason why I went on the radio in the first place. Okay, let me start from top because according to the screenshot I have, there is uh, just that what I want to talk about is what is leading. That's why I wanted to reserve it for the last thing. But let me still start from there and come back to continue talking about it. Now he starts with, I don't speak for success music and this is where my problem is. This is where my problem is. That I don't speak for success music. This is where my problem is. But I'll come back to it. The next one says, The amount of energy we give sensational news is amazing. Let's put that same effort into supporting positive events and initiatives. <laughs> so the amount of energy we give sensational news is amazing. This is not sensational news. This is a story that people are excited about. I'm not sure there's a sensational, sensational like that. As yet, it's people who wrote this story did not do it because it was sensational. They wrote their story because it was celebratory. They wrote their story because it is something that they would want to be proud of. And he says, the amount of energy we give to sensational news is amazing. Let's put the, that same effort in supporting positive events in, and initiatives. And in all the tweets, he hashtags party in the park 2024. Mm. Party in the park. He says, this is exactly my problem with the media. I always pay to promote every event I do. I don't get free publicity and receive support from very few. But the energy you put into other unnecessary stories is a astonishing. <laughs> Take your opportunity to find because they all kind of fat. That way, this is exactly my problem with the media. Yes, we all have problems with the media sometimes. Yes, I always pay to promote events I do. I don't get free publicity and receive support from very few. But the energy we put into other analysis stories is astonishing. Hmm. Unfortunately, what you see as unnecessary, these people will not see it as such. Once again, he hashtagged Ghana Party in the park. Then he comes again to say, I went on the radio to promote ghana party in the park yet i haven't seen one story claiming that the event is next saturday <laughs> oh ghana media although it happens to you you don't feel it when it happens that's when you feel it i'm sure dj Mesa is there shaking his head sir or rust and can train because you too because you'll be shaking hey hey this is hey because even they said that the main platform that invited him to come and talk about the main thing he went to talk about Omukramu was still party in the park that, and that's happened that's why now artists don't go for interviews any, any longer especially some A-list artists that's why they don't go for interviews because when they go for interviews the media are thinking about their interest more than the interest of the interviewee mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is that sad the oh, 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 oh. it is that sad that's how painful it is and I'm sure DJ Miza is a hey, I went on the road to promote Ghana Party in the park. Yet, I haven't seen one story claiming that the event is next Saturday. The main platform crying kind. Then another one says, it would have been nice to see the same energy from people spreading this story, being given to the reason why I went on the radio in the first place. DJ Miza, they won't do. Now, let me end this by go making reference to the first tweet once again where i said it is the reason i'm going to be a part of this conversation i didn't want to but when i saw that i said no dj mason should not say this because there is something wrong sometimes just own up accept responsibilities and move on my problem is when he said i don't speak for success music that is not something i expect to come from dj mason DJ Mesa, at this stage, if you deny your ambassadorial ship for success music, then you are not being fair to all of us. Some of us who look up to you for what you did. Because, yes, you started doing artist things before some of us joined. So, when I say I look up to you, it is the reverence and the respect that you have been there for long. Before some of us joined is what I'm talking about. We look up to you. So, when you say you don't speak for success music... That is denying your ambassadorial position. Take it or leave it. DJ Mesa is an ambassador for success music. In fact, if he goes anywhere and something good or something bad happens to him, 
it will be associated to success music whether he likes it or not when he sits any on any platform doing discussion and he says anything whether good or bad it will be associated with a success music brand so for him to say he does not speak for success music he lost me there that was where i said ah let me i feel me can be not missing coming can be but me who is our tweet now i i do not speak for success okay no problem dj means who speaks for success music as much as i know unlike maybe the shutter movement where some flex has been given the power to do other administrative duties and also to come publicly to speak about issues officially i'm not sure success music has anyone out there openly like that of course there are occasions that some questions have been posed to um manager angel town he's answered them there are uh, times that sarko himself has presented himself to answer some questions as well in fact they don't have one brand to say oh, this person or that person has been speaking for success music. there's nobody like that that i know so for him to make that tweet that i don't speak for success music will start asking we will start asking questions okay so then who speaks for success music are you running away from being an ambassador for success music no you are in fact you can speak for success music when it matters when your issue with stone boys manager chief styles at one event like that at the la palm area when it happened you spoke on radio i still remember your interview with andy dusty and chief styles on the other side and you talked about what happened on that day bro you were speaking for success music on that day you were uh, giving an account of what happened as a dj of success music and therefore you were speaking for success music so that particular in fact all the explanation made sense all the explanation you were really on point oh why are you guys not promoting ghana party in the park why are you doing they were all on point until you said i don't speak for success me and that's that was where you lost me and that is where i want to come out and say no nobody who moves with any brand should sit anywhere and say some of these things unless your firm has someone who has been appointed officially to do that like i'm using myself as an example that despite my administrative roles i've also been given that power to speak on official issues concerning um um, um, um shutter movement so whether shatawale is there or shatawale is not there the next voice that can be heard talking shatter movement is sami flex's voice shatter at the top sami flex at the, at the at the bottom and we are doing the shatter movement duty so for him to say i don't speak for success music no you you you, you lost me there please be proud of your errors mistakes are bound to happen on bro wear them as a badge of honor don't run away from it okay you want to say something maybe it is a classified information an information that you are not supposed to uh, even um, talk about it you could have even left it because you said it yourself nobody pushed you into it you said it so just leave it if it happens and Zagan does not perform and Zagan did not perform and so what the event happened the opening happened Saka did not perform and eh, maybe something happened however people would want to think they leave it like that and it goes because for you to come back and now trying to even change what you said and now coming back to even add that you don't speak for success music you are making the story even longer thanks to chef smith who has taken the savings and loans from you i'm sure you would, you would have reigned for a longer time on the streets of social media chef smith has saved you a lot so let's leave it there but i want to tell every other person who moves with an artist that you are an ambassador for that brand it's like kevin boy's manager maybe didi or black um cd it's like one lady anita empress anita with family and now it's like stone boy and chief styles no matter what you present them what you say can be attributed to them with no malice intended so to run away because there is an error no own your error own your mistake 
and say that yes something happened or if you leave it let them talk what they will talk about on the day of the event if Sarko does not perform nobody will die all those who said this and that nobody will die. they will all leave so you don't have to come and deny your ambassadorial position as an ambassador for success me dj mesa if you don't speak for that Sa success me then who else with your representation for success music is too admirable and very beautiful so don't run away from it it is unfortunate that some communication mishaps have happened but life goes on nobody will die like i said just move on wear your error as a badge of honor and just let it go don't run away from your ambassadorial position that's why i'm here to be a part of this you are an ambassador for success music don't run away from it and i know anywhere i'll meet you anywhere we talk on the phone this i also confirm to say you don't speak for success music no no let me leave it here my name is sammy flex this has been the editorial on what the streets of social media they are discussing on dj mason's sarkoday performing at the olympics um, opening in france 2024 and all that it happens but once subscribe to us and let's do some more tap tap send is also here so if you are living abroad you have to send money from france uh make sure you get tap tap send today download on your phone put in the key details use the promo code samiflex and start sending the money you'll be fine everything will be okay subscribe to us and let's do some more drop your commentaries as well we are out of here bye bye